Hey guys, it's me Curtis and in today's video I am very excited to be announcing and giving you guys this tutorial on how to make this sort of um, bin cage DIY sliding door 2.0 tutorial as my last one was kind of a flop. <laughs> If you guys haven't already seen, I did make a DIY sliding door feature type of bin cage video, um, I believe in November of last year, which actually did very well. A lot of people liked it, and I'm very glad about that. However, there was one downside, which is a lot of people in the comments were like, oh, this is a great idea, um, I want to do this for my hamster, however, I know that he will escape, or whatever. So I was like, okay. So anyway, I was pretty much like, okay, whatever, don't make it. So then, about um, a month into having this cage, I noticed Gus was chewing on the mesh, and I was like, whatever, I came over to his cage, gave him some new chews, moved his stuff around, and I thought, okay, maybe he's just bored. So then, about a week after that happened, my I'm in the kitchen, and my dad is in the living room. He says, Kurt, come grab Gus, because he's walking in front of me right now. What? I immediately thought he was joking. And I was like, okay, whatever, no, he's joking. Even though this is not Gus's first, second, third, or fourth time escaping, he was like, no, why would I be joking about this? Like, come get him quick before he goes under something. So I was like, oh, all right. And I go over there, sure enough, Gus is under there, and I'm like, how? So I come back over here, and there is a massive hole right here chewed out of the screen. And I'm like, oh, um... Gus is an elderly hamster, and... He cannot afford to be like escaping his cage and you know like just not being safe so that's what I decided I need to update this bin cage and make a video so that is how I created this newer updated version and why it has taken me a few months or about a month and a half to get this out to you guys because I wanted to make sure that it was 100% safe so I'm gonna pretty much be using the same materials as I did in my last video so if you haven't watched that you can actually check that out up here in the corner but yeah, we're going to just start this tutorial off by saying with the screen, we're just going to remove the screen 100%. Then what I did was I took quarter inch mesh or hardware cloth and I measured it just enough to go over this bar, like frame or whatever on the bin cage. But after I measured that out, I actually painted this with non-toxic acrylic paint. Um, black so that it is easier to see through because the human eye sees easier past the color black than it does silver Fun fact this means that now I'll be able to like quickly look over in his cage and see everything that's in it And my eyes won't be straining to see past like the silver galvanized color So then what I did was I added this mounting tape stuff. It's like a thick mounting tape It's like double-sided tape, but it's kind of thick and foamy I don't know exactly what it is, but you guys can see a picture somewhere on screen. I used that and I actually cut a strip of it to go along the top of the metal right here and a strip to go along the metal down here. Now what this did was stick the mesh onto the, um, the frame. So now that's on there good. And then what I did was I took zip ties and I zip tied the frame to the bar that is here that you can use to slide. I just zip tied one here, one here, and one here so that this way the mesh can't be raised here. And then over here, here, I, um, can you guys see this? Yeah. I took a staple gun and I put a staple through one, two, and three parts of the different mesh so it couldn't raise over here. So is that clear? I had to use zip ties over here and, uh, sta and a staple gun over here to keep the mesh adhered. Then what I did was I just took a hot glue gun and over all of these little divots over where I put the sticky tape, I just applied some hot glue and then I pushed down with my thumb, so my thumb was pretty much fried by the end of this. And I pretty much did that all the way around, so now there's just like a thick bead of hot glue going along that, so this way it cannot come off. It's really secure. I added this like little chain when you guys um, right here to the part of the mesh and it has this little clip on it which just allows me to slide it and keep it locked so over here on the wood part I just put just put a staple through the wood so that I can have something to latch the little hook onto 
And then I just took this little piece of mesh. Um, I think it's like three by something, or actually four, because I had to shove it and I pushed it inside of the wood because it can actually go inside of here. So I pushed it as far as it could, and then I zip tied this on to the um, wood. So yeah, this can now open and close perfectly fine. And this is actually um, a quieter door as well. So that is pretty much my tutorial. I hope this was clear enough for you guys to follow. Don't be afraid to ask me any questions down below because this is not really me a uh, sitting down and look over type of tutorial. This is more of me a talk through with pictures. So let me know if anything was not clear in this video. I hope you guys either update your cages or now decide to make it because um, it is perfect. I have been using this for Gus for over a month and a half now and he has been, he can bite at it like whatever he wants to do but he still cannot get out of it luckily. And don't forget that you guys can like this video and subscribe to make sure that you do not miss any more of my future content as well as following me on Twitter and Instagram which are just at Curtis Lassane in order to see more of my pet updates and photos before they hit my YouTube channel. Thank you guys so much for watching today's video and I will see you guys in my next one. Oh